Hey guys, Lowe's 98 here. Hope you're having an amazing day. I certainly am. Uh, I just got back and I actually forgot Minecraft was releasing today. I just went on the store and uh, we finally now have Minecraft. I'm really, really excited uh, to get into it. I can't believe I forgot it is out today. I completely skipped my mind, but I'm so glad that we finally have it on the Vita. As you can see, uh, we have skin packs and texture packs uh, on the main uh, bubble screen uh, but we're going to go straight into the game here uh, and I'm just going to look at the, the performance of the game look through the menus and just see uh, basically how it runs on the Vita kind of like a first uh, impressions video uh, so I've heard uh, mixed reports about the game so far uh, from what I've heard it is pretty good uh, but we're going to go and see for ourselves here we go so let's go through that we're going to go uh, first of all, we're going to look at some of the menus. So we've got the Minecraft store here, and you've got texture packs and skin packs, and it actually loads it uh, within the game. So obviously you've got a nice little selection of skin packs here. We've got the Battle and Beast skin packs, uh, skin pack 1, 2, and 3, and the festive skin pack. So lots of skins, uh, and they cost about 79 pence or £1.69. So about $2 or two, $1 or $2, basically. And then we've got uh, texture packs. We've got plenty of texture packs. I really like the look of some of these. Uh, the natural texture pack. Uh, is one that I really like as well and fantasy we've got plastic natural fantasy city candy and cartoon and they are all 79 pence or about a dollar so that's really really cool uh, I'm gonna go and grab some of these later and then uh, do a video on them uh, later then we've got help and options we've got obviously change skin uh, we've got how to play uh, lots of tutorials here uh, about basically everything of course I, I know how to play the game so I'm just gonna quickly run through that just in case you didn't know uh, then we've got controls here uh, we can invert the look or you can have southpaw controls uh, I pretty much I think I know the controls I'm just gonna quickly check just so I know how to go in the game okay I know how to sprint that's cool and then we've got settings you got options uh, you can change the auto save interval change the difficulty uh, you've got audio settings here uh, you can change the controls uh, you can also change the graphics which is really really cool uh, we've got was it render clouds bedrock fog custom skin animation gamma and interface opacity we've got also the user interface which I'm just gonna leave uh, like it is and you can also change the HUD size just basically like uh, the PC version so that's that uh, and then we're gonna go back we've got leaderboards here but I'm not gonna worry about that we're just gonna go uh, straight uh, into a game I'm just going to turn my Wi-Fi off just so we don't get uh, anyone joining us while I'm trying to film just because I want to do just a first impressions video today uh, and then later I'm probably gonna play with some subs so we're gonna go in uh, creative just so I can uh, see everything and just go through all the menus with you just in case you're not familiar uh, with the game so we've got obviously the texture packs here are they already preloaded I'm not not quite sure what they are but anyway I'm gonna put the difficulty uh, on normal and I'm just gonna create the new world I just all I want to do uh, is just see what the frame rate is like basically and just how it looks on the Vita uh, from what I've seen so far it, it does run very well the menus certainly do uh, run very fast but we're gonna see uh, what it's like when it's actually rendering stuff uh, in the distance okay so we are straight into the game first of all it, oh, it looks amazing it really feels odd playing Minecraft uh, on my Vita it it's it's very oh wow it looks it looks really good the Vita uh, it really does look good on the Vita screen the first thing I've noticed though is there are a few little frame drops every now and then the frame rate is certainly not the best but from first look it does seem very very good now I would have done survival but I just want to run through uh, all the menus as you can see uh, the, the distance doesn't look too great uh, but obviously it is all packed into a little five inch Vita screen so I think they've done a pretty good job we're gonna go up to the top of this hill so that goes along there okay so we can change camera angle uh, with the top arrow button obviously the third person view which I quite like actually I do like this view then if we press the bottom arrow uh, that brings up the little man in the top left corner so this certainly looks good I really like this then if we press the right arrow and the left arrow that just moves uh, along your inventory here so I'm just gonna change the camera view and obviously we've got some cows here they look really good as I said the frame rate 
does drop a little bit it, it doesn't really uh, bother me too much I've put up with you know substandard frame rates on the Vita for ages but it works it works well just see what it's like to kill a cow. It's very odd on my computer screen. <laughs> Come here. Where? Okay, he's... Where did that cow go? Okay. So if we press square, we can go straight into our menu. And I'm just going to press... I already know how to use it, basically. Uh, so obviously you've got a little cursor here. Instead of using the arrow buttons, we've got a little cursor, which we can select things with. Obviously we've got all the skulls, the heads, uh, I'm just going to go and look, we're going to go and grab some weapons, we're going to grab a diamond sword, uh, full diamond armour just to start us off here, just to flint the steel, just so we can set things on fire, and it does, it just looks very, very good, as I said the menus work very, very well, and obviously we've got potions here, uh, which uh, I like, and then what have we got in the way of armor? Can we go down? Ah, we've got all our enchanted books here uh, as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and try and put some of this stuff on. Is there like a quick button for doing it? Okay, so if you hold, if you just press, if you hold the left trigger button on the Vita and press triangle, uh, then it will auto equip it for you. And then if you just press triangle on its own, it will just go into your inventory. So that's pretty good. That's nice. I'm going to keep our flint and steel. We've also got a map there. Not that we need it. So I'm just going to switch out to my diamond sword. See if we can go kill a cow. I like the music. The music really good on this game. And I really cannot wait to get some of the texture packs going. I might start Survival World, but as I said, this is just a first impressions video. I'd really like to know your feedback. Tell me what you think uh, about this video and also give me your ideas. I know uh, you guys, a lot of you guys really enjoy watching my videos uh, and uh, so always suggest new ideas to me. Uh, I, I really do uh, like seeing all your comments. I do read all the comments, uh, so I'll always be looking out for new ideas. And it's really cool. We've actually found a wolf almost straight away, which is odd because I didn't think they could spawn in these normal biomes. That's cool anyway. It's disappeared. Which is odd. We found a wolf. It's cool. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's wrong. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had to. I really had to. I had to try. Uh, the lighting's really good as well. Oh, we found pigs. We found pigs. That's time to die, piggy. Come here. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna set myself on fire. There we go. I'm just having fun and creative. Oh, we found another cow. That's what I might do. I'm just going to have a wander. I'm just going to see what we've got in the world. As I said, I'm not really noticing the frame rate too much, although it, it could, get, could be better. We're just going to go and have a look at the scenery and just basically see what it's like. Well, first of all, the render distance on the Vita uh, obviously isn't the best, but I, I can really put up with it. I think it is really good. I think the Vita does a really good job with Minecraft. It just looks really nice. I'm not I'm not one for massive render distances, you know, as long as I can see what's in front of me about 10 meters, I'm absolutely fine. But this does look very, very good. We're gonna go down here and see the squid. We're just gonna drop into the sea just about now. There we go. Let's go and see the squid. Oh, I don't like the deep sea. It scares me even on a game. That is really cool. Okay, we're going to go and kill a squid. Why don't I just pull out my diamond sword? There we go. So obviously they drop ink sacks. I'm literally just going to swim to the bottom. And something else I've noticed is this bedrock layer, which stops you from going any further. So I've found a world limit here, which is interesting. I'm sure you can change the world size, but I found the limit to my world anyway. Let's have a look here. We've got a cave in here as well. We're going to go in here and see what's in the cave. I assume just the normal stuff. We've got a creeper. Let's uh, let's bring out a torch and see what we can see. Torch there. So we've got a nice little creeper there. We've got coal ore. Oh, I need to just walk normally. I'm just going to go into this cave. I just want to see what it's like. Uh, also, the frame rate is much better in the caves. It's a lot more smoother 
It's a lot smoother than when it's rendering objects outside, which is very interesting. Let's just go down and see what we can find down here. Oh, so I found kind of like a valley in here. I can't remember what they're called, actually. What is that? Oh, we've got our first zombie. Our first zombie in Minecraft PS Vita. Thank you. I'm going to call him Zack. I don't know why, but we've got a little skelly here. Okay, so I don't know where this goes. We're going to go down this way. This is a really, really cool area. And I'm just going to look around, make sure everything's loaded. So as you can see, this is the render distance, basically, uh, on the Vita version of the game. You can see quite far uh, into the distance here. And uh, I like watching myself fly. That's pretty cool. So the render distance, as I said, uh, certainly not the best, but it is... Uh, pretty good you know you can see quite far in the distance and you can you know see what's in the distance obviously on the small screen it is hard to pick out details uh, but overall from what I have from the short amount of time uh, that I've played the Vita version it does seem very uh, very good it's what I want uh, from the game of course I think they still need to uh, keep updating it and uh, so, you know just fixing the frame rate a little bit and improving it but for such a, a CPU or GPU intensive game whatever Minecraft is for such an intensive game uh, that requires a lot of power I think the Vita does a very good job of course we're not talking about the pocket edition here we are talking about the full console edition running on the Vita version so I think first things first 4J have done a good job uh, as well and I'm certainly cannot wait to get into survival mode yeah so night time's not too bad we've got our spiders uh, we've got uh, our zombies and of course we've got tips uh, which appear in the top right corner anyway guys I'm going to end it here I think I've covered enough for a first impressions video uh, we've been over the menus uh, I've had a look uh, at the mobs and just the general performance of the game uh, and seeing what it looks like on the Vita and to sum up I think the game does run pretty well on the Vita as I keep saying 4J have done a good job however I still think the frame rate uh, could improve a little bit so guys leave likes on this video uh, Please leave comments down below, give me feedback on my videos, give me ideas uh, on what you'd like to see me do uh, in Minecraft in the near future. As you can see, the forest is ablaze where I went on a little killing spree earlier. Uh, anyway guys, I've been Lowe's 98 Hope you're all enjoying Minecraft on the Vita. If you haven't got it already, make sure you go and check it out uh, and buy the game uh, as I will hopefully be playing with subscribers, other YouTubers and making lots more videos to come. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.